Hello, in this tutorial we'll be demonstrating the proper installation procedure for a Leviton concrete floor box system. This system is meant to be used in concrete subflooring with a finishing floor of wood, tile, vinyl, terrazzo, concrete or carpet. To install this floor box system, we will need the following. Phillips head screwdriver, saw or oscillating multi-tool, torque limiting screwdriver, rubber mallet, protective tape, PVC cement primer and glue, utility knife, tape measure, pliers, installation instructions included with the Leviton concrete floor box system, and zip ties which are optional. All items included with the floor box are protective cover with bullseye level, low voltage divider, four box elevation screws, power port reducers, data port reducers. The following items are sold separately. Y adapter, leveling ring, and the cover plate kits. Before we get started, remember to avoid fire, shock, or death. Turn off power at the circuit breaker or fuse and test that the power is off before wiring. Let's begin. Connect your conduit using PVC cement primer and glue. If necessary, use the reducers to reduce the port size or plug any unused conduit ports. Remember to connect the data conduit to the data port entry and power conduit to the power conduit entry. If you need to split power conduit, use the Y adapter by connecting it directly to the reducer. Next, place your low voltage divider inside the box for future use if you plan to use a combination of line and low voltage. Attach the protective cover to the box using the screws provided. Be careful not to over torque the screws. Next, you'll want to use the four elevation screws to securely level the box on the ground. The screws are three inches long, giving you additional height to the six and a quarter inch tall box if needed. This will come in handy since you'll want to make sure the box extends above the level of the poured concrete. The elevation screws will also be used in conjunction with the bullseye level on the concrete cover to facilitate the leveling process. For increased stability, use the slots on the bottom flange of the box to attach it to rebar using zip ties. Once the box is secured in place, the concrete pouring process can begin. After the concrete has cured, flooring can be installed. Please note that a 5 and 7 8 inch diameter opening is required in the finished floor to permit access to the floor box. Once the flooring has been installed, you can remove the protective cover and the low voltage divider from the box. Before cutting, protect the floor with tape surrounding the floor box. Using a saw or oscillating multi-tool, cut the top of the box so that it is flush to the floor. If you are combining low voltage and line voltage devices in the box, your next step is installing the low voltage divider. Using a tape measure, measure the distance from the bottom of the floor box to the top of the cut edge of the box. Then score and snap the divider with a utility knife to the appropriate height, referencing the table given in step 4 of the instruction sheet. Next, slide the divider into the grooves of the box until it's fully seated on the bottom. The Leviton logo should read upright if installed correctly. Now you're ready to install the leveling ring. First, you're going to hammer the mounting brackets into the bracket slots in the box using a rubber mallet. The leveling ring is keyed for proper installation. To ensure that the cover plate can be sealed, use the screws on the leveling ring to adjust the height and pitch so that the top of the leveling ring is flush to the floor. If the floor box was cut below the top surface of the finished flooring, the leveling ring can be raised up to three quarters of an inch above the top of the floor box. Do not adjust the leveling ring too high to create a gap between the bottom of the leveling ring and the top rim of the box. Once your leveling ring is fully installed, you can go ahead and ground the system by connecting the ground wire from the conduit to the grounding connector provided with the leveling ring. Before wiring receptacles, make sure the ears of the mounting straps have been removed using a set of pliers. Wire the devices according to their instructions, then attach devices onto the leveling ring. Once the devices have been wired, use the screws provided to attach the grounding plate, gasket facing up if applicable. Use seven to nine inch pounds of torque and be careful not to over tighten. Next, Attach the cover plate with the O-ring screws provided using seven inch pounds of torque. Again, do not over torque. The installation is now complete. 
For more information on the Leviton offering of floor boxes, please visit our website at leviton.com.